Hi, I'm Rick with the City of Sarasota Parks and Recreation District. Today we're going to be doing tie-dye shirts using food coloring and items that you have in your house. So what you're going to need is water, vinegar, some food coloring, a measuring cup, rubber bands, and of course a nice t-shirt. Um, so what you're going to need first are equal parts of water and vinegar. So generally use about three cups of water to three cups of vinegar. Uh, I'm going to soak the shirt so it can absorb the dye. Um, what we're going to do today for our, our tie dye is we're going to fold. We're doing an accordion style fold. So I'm just going to flip the shirt, fold it, just to get all the way down to the bottom of the shirt. Okay, once you get down to the bottom, I'm just going to take the shirt now. Now we're just going to roll it up. So it's kind of an accordion roll type of style we're going to go with, I guess. I'm just going to tuck the sleeve in there. Okay, now you should have a nice round circle like so. Take your rubber bands and we're going to go over. And here are a couple of pictures of some shirts we've already done. So once we've added the dye to the shirt, you're now going to want to take the dyed shirt and put it into a plastic bag or wrap it in saran wrap, and you want to let it sit overnight. You really want to make sure that the dye soaks into the fabric. Mm -hmm. Once you take your shirt out of the bag, uh, you want to make sure you have gloves on, so have some rubber gloves ready, because um, you're going to get dyed all of your hands if you don't. And then you're going to want to run it through water. So you're going to run through the water until the water comes clear. And then from there, you're going to wring it out, and hang it up and let it air dry. And there you have it, your tie-dye shirt. Remember to check us out on social media every day for crafts, tips, contests, and more. Thanks for watching.